just in time for the beautiful sun shining on my face to make me look a little bit better. Boy, I look cray cray this morning, man. I was like, oh my God, I'm not, I am doing well, but self care is in effect. Blood pressure high, losing weight, not eating enough, running around, you know. Um, I think I need to tell you guys some of the things I have to go through just to function every day. Last night I couldn't sleep because it was too hot. And on top of that, three women gave up their beds in my dorm. So they came in tearing down beds and dragging out plastic bags and making a lot of noise at 10.30 and 11 o'clock at night. This is the staff. They like to do that. Then I went to take a shower and I had my towel around me and I said, you can't do that. So now I gotta go find a robe. Because they're right, I shouldn't be running around with a towel, but it's just women up there. Um, but a robe is, or a, you know, a long gown or a granny gown or something. I have slippers, but um, it's so hot that I think women are getting sick up there. Because I got up this morning at 3 and I just couldn't go back to bed. I was on my knees praying and just fell asleep on my knees. So I left the hotel at 5 o'clock and went to my hotel and took a cat nap. And I was thinking about Tony, our guru, my guru. Tony Robbins, fuck it, you're my guru. I can't help but tell you this. I thought, you can only do this if you're passion driven and then you're on fire. Otherwise, you'd be like, fuck it, I'm going to sleep. Fuck all the appointments, fuck the conference, fuck everything. But all I can think about is all that I received in Comeback Challenge for free, everything. I mean, my life did a 360. I got the gift of sobriety, which means I can pass any drug test, get any job I want now because I'm one smart cookie. This is Queen Raw, your motivational speaker from the hood. And that's my only job right now is because I have over 80 messages telling me, go, go, go. I'm going to go print them out. As soon as I find out like how to do it for my file, I'm going to print them out and make a little book. And just put on it, we love you, Queen Raw, hashtag we love you, Queen Raw. I, my life is dedicated to my why, period. I fucked around for 20 years trying to figure out what to do when I already knew what to do and I didn't do it. Because I didn't think I could do it. I think I thought I needed this to start. I thought I needed that to start. I thought I needed someone to accept me. I thought I needed to break into this group to start. I thought I needed to be given an opportunity. I thought I needed more money. I thought I needed to be in the right place at the right time. I thought I just needed housing. And come to find out, I didn't even need that. I've accomplished so much with no housing since I got here. You know, when my girlfriend told me that she couldn't hold me any longer, that she needed her space, I felt away because I was supposed to be there a month and had only been there a week and I was so tired. And she came in and she was making noise and I couldn't go to sleep and I thought, Jesus Christ. And so the next day she said, you know, I just need my office back and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, damn, that's fucked up. She's kicking me to the curb. But you know what? I'm buying her a gift and giving her a thank you card and say, thank you for your tough love because you pushed me to my greater yet to be. My girlfriend just sent me a message that they announced in the news that New York has 139 hotels for the homeless. I'm talking to my job counselor. I'm showing her what's going on. And I said, can you please advocate for me to get to a hotel as soon as possible? My deliverables are almost done. The TB test will clear tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna, if I don't have my casework, is not on site. I'm gonna ask for her supervisor and tell her I need that psych evaluation like yesterday because I'm ready to go. I have everything in my storage for my house. When I move, all I need is a, a microphone and a lamp and a memory foam top for my bed. And that's it. I got all the clothes I need up into the winter. And I got them all dirt cheap on sale. I mean, dirt, the clothes were so cheap, I felt guilty. I said, they're gonna arrest me for taking these clothes out so cheap. I love New York. Several of you have said, hey, I want to come to New York and shop with you and hang out with you. So here's the good news. The hotel I'm staying at <laughs> is right off a Long Island Railroad stop. So you can take the Long Island Railroad from Manhattan and stop right at the Best Western and don't have to be bothered with no creepy people or nothing. Just nice. And then um, 
that train also takes you to JFK link up. So you can come in from the airport, get on the Long Island Railroad, and meet me at Best Western. This is a cool hookup, and the hotel is not two or three hundred dollars, it's like a hundred and forty. And it's nice, as you saw. So it's nice to know these things because a lot of people want to visit New York and don't know how to do it. I know how to do it where it's affordable. So come check me if you're coming. I would love to show you around and be your guide. Um, I am your motivational speaker. One of our team members put me on blast yesterday. Mm. Not, and even more than that, she put me on blast. But what was so profound, she gave me credit for lighting a fire under her ass. And she is on fire. I was like, whoa, no wonder Tony loves this work so much. When you see somebody that you had an effect on wake up and get with it, that's the best feeling in the world. I'm all in with you, Tony Robbins. Whatever you want me to do, whatever, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. Because whatever you're doing works. Like he said, take notes because you may want to teach it and you probably will. I took notes. I love this work so much. I was watching Tony Robbins. Um, I'm not your guru. I've been watching it in little pieces because every, every piece he does just breaks the bank, baby. When he did the first piece with the young boy and just caught through his bullshit, right? And then the 19-year-old girl whose father was an addict. Well, my father was an alcoholic. And I cried all morning behind that piece. And I said, you know what, Queen, there's more work to be done. Because look, you, you haven't forgiven your father. You haven't forgiven your mother. They're both fuck-ups. And I base all my relationships on their lack of trust, their infidelities, their disappointments, their fights. My God. Tony Robbins, we appreciate you. Kiki, we appreciate you. Sage, the whole team, all the, tr all the coaches, all the extended family have done UPH. We appreciate you. All the fire workers, fire walkers and board breakers, we appreciate you. Didn't mean to get emotional, but that piece, man, I had to shut it down again. I said, man, I can't even watch this movie all the way through. I've told several people about it who don't know who Tony Robbins is. And I just hope they don't be like me, you know? Just think, oh, he's just some big, goofy, white guy, and he's got his. How am I going to get mine? But God, that's how I'm going to get it. I've gotten it. I'm still getting it. Um... So, I'm prepared, taking care of myself. I was so hungry, and then I came to Subway and found out they were open 24 hours. So next time I leave the shelter at 5 in the morning, I'm starving, I can come right to Manhattan in a half hour and get breakfast. <laughs> and she has coffee, but she said a coffee machine broke because so many people come to get coffee. So I had to get coffee around the corner for McDonald's. I shouldn't be drinking coffee, but the juice place ain't open yet. So I'm waiting for press juice to open. I'm waiting for my post box to open up. And then I'm going to go get four to eight juices because I have a nice big ice box. Once I start pumping in those juices, you'll see me just spruce right up. Yep. Water, 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 juice, juice, juice. Water, 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 juice, juice, juice. And one meal, one big fat meal a day. That's healthy. Um... UPH, UPW's rolling out and it's so magical. So magical. Mm. Starting tomorrow, I start picking up Amazon packages for things I have bought for class. Notebooks, sticky notes, rebounder. When I get on that rebounder, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I should've got a hula hoop and a hula hoop for Tony. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I hula hoop. Yeah, I hula hoop, baby. Yes, I hula hoop. I hula hoop. I hula hoop. I do the rebounder too. I love to dance. I love to party. I love Mother Nature. I had to go online, print out the application for 
the apartment at the beach. I got a lot, of, I need an assistant. You know what's funny guys? I need an assistant already. Isn't that crazy? Like when UPW is over, I need to get like somebody to help me do my back office. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I need a lawyer. I don't need. I'm looking for a lawyer pro bono to set up the nonprofit for Love Outreach Foundation. The three T's from Tent to Temple to Triumph. So blessed and highly fa favored I am. I've always been under favor. This I knew. And I know the voice of God. I've heard it in the still quiet of the night. At the weirdest times. I'll tell you the two times that I know directly it was, once it was my grandmother. I was living on my own. I was a young person, late 19, 20, 21. And I had an apartment on the lower, lower east side. And it had a long hallway. And I could look from my bedroom into the living room. And I woke up and I saw my grandmother. It was so quick, you know, it's like, wow. Then the next time, I was in an SRO and I was going down to the bathroom, use the bathroom. And just as I went to go sit down on the toilet like this, I heard God say, I love you and keep doing what you're doing. I said, now you wanna to talk to me when I'm trying to take a pee? What kind of shit is this, God? This is too real, too intimate. But that's how she'll get you. You never know when God talks to you. Don't, don't think it's gonna be in church. Don't think it's while I'm in meditation doing prime. You could be going to take a shit and then God talk to you. Like, damn, now? What? You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is how I regenerate myself. I don't know how Tony, I know how he does it. He moved to the beach down in San Diego. So when he comes out on his porch, he's regenerated. When you come around nature, you get energy. Greenery and ocean and birds and flowers give me energy that's why i love this city because even though it's full of um concrete there's parks and birds and beautiful humans everywhere and speaking about the humans there's a series called the humans of new york h-o-n-y and this guy goes around taking pictures of humans in new york and getting their story it's the most amazing series i've ever seen he's on facebook he has a book out Humans of New York. Yep, so many beautiful artists here, photographers. I was gonna bring my camera out today and I said, no, Queen, you're doing too much. You don't even got time for all that. You gotta rest up, get ready for UPW. So, I, I don't even know what to say. I gotta get a poster board today to make signs. Tomorrow, I had to go back and get my TB test read, and I'm gonna be picking up packages all over Brooklyn tomorrow. Because that was the last order I placed before I got my mailbox. After that, I'll just be going to um, the PO box to pick them up. There must be a Wi Fi spot in the park, and this guy's over there on his Mac. Let me see. Or maybe he's just working. Don't you love New Yorkers? See him? He's with his apple right there. Wow. <sighs> Simply made a decision and everything changed. I cannot believe that I've only been here two to three weeks. I haven't even been in New York a month. And I've accomplished so much due to the comeback challenge. Otherwise, I would just been looking for a room to rent and a spliff to smoke. That's no life for what I was up to, for what my heart wanted me to be doing. So it's like my heart caught up with my mind. And you know you have a mind within your heart? Like you have a little brain in your heart muscle. There's a little brain in there. That's why they say think with your heart, not your head, you know. There's a brain for real in there. Mm. So today I'm still fighting to get rest. I'm gonna see if I can get an overnight for tonight, but I don't trust them. See, they be doing sneaky stuff in the shelter. They'll say, oh, we didn't see the overnight pass and then pack my shit up. I'm fearful. Really, I am. I wanna make sure they know I got an overnight pass. So if I get it, I'll make sure I come there at bed check time and, and sign in my name 
overnight pass or have a case caseworker put it on the sheet because I don't want to go through that stress with them. You feel me? Don't want to go through it. Um, <laughs> so I have stuff all over the place. I have stuff in Temecula, California. I have stuff in uh, storage here and I have stuff at the shelter. What I'm getting ready to do now is take everything I got in the shelter and put it in storage and just leave the bare necessities. So when they come and say, we're moving you, get ready, uh, the bus is picking up tonight. All I'll have is one little bag <laughs> and I can come get my shit by lift later. You know, because I don't want to be stressed about moving. But one of my girlfriends just told me, they just announced on the news, New York has 131 hotels for the homeless. So that being said, I'm advocating strongly. I'm working, I'm stable, I'm a senior. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this or something better. Because you know, I thought, I wanna sign it and date it on a condo. Somebody may have an extra condo they're not using. They might wanna give it to me, I don't know. People got a lot of property in the world and they're not using. They, some people hoard properties, you know that, right? and don't rent them out. They're afraid to rent them to people. So if you're one of those people and you're holding a condominium or a house here in New York, around the city, let me know. I'll buy it from you for $20. <laughs> and you can write it off your taxes. <laughs> Anything is possible with God. Yeah, I like to live sustainable. I don't wanna get something new. If somebody has something they're not using, I'll just take that. Except for my Tesla, I want that new right off the lot. And then I'm going to put Love Tribe on it, on the back. And then I'm going to hit the road. And everywhere I'm asked to come speak and motivate, I'm going to show up. Whether, whether they pay me or not, I'm going to show up. Because when I see this, now you don't have nothing else to do but walk around ragging that shit all over the place. That's a deep mental health issue. And somehow, through prayer and compassion, we can reach out to those who are deeply suffering. They can't find their way out and they end up dying on these streets. I met a guy about eight years ago who told me that New York uh, Social Services came in the subway in the tunnel and found him and asked him if he wanted to get housing. They gave him an immediate Section 8 voucher. He was already a senior and had been living in the subway for years. He looked so much better. He was clean. I met him at Amma's Kitchen. Yeah. So I think when people are treated with kindness and compassion, they respond. But all this institutionalized behavior and the food in the shelter is just ridiculous sometimes it's like really guys I mean I can't eat it it tastes like tin like metal and the juice is full of sugar so they said if you have a special diet let us know ah, I don't want them feed me no vegetarian food because all this stuff is overcooked and sugary but they'll consider that vegetarian so I love you guys I guess I'll go see if the mailbox is open and head back to Brooklyn um, Kiki comes on at 1030, so when she comes on, I intend to be back at the shelter charging up at 930. Yep. So, after this broadcast, I swear to God, you're not going to see me no more. Because I'm getting ready to jump into a really deep initiation. And I got to take care of myself so I can show up for my team members and our breakout sessions and for everyone who set this up. They put a lot of work into this, a lot. And so I'm committed to showing up with an open mind for a new possibility, again. And I got a new journal too, that's deep, a clever fox journal. That journal is man, man, man. So let me see if I can get some of these sheets printed out and start making this book. We love you, Queen Ron. I'll see you later. I'll see you at the top. <laughs>